Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing really well and having a really good day. In today's video, we want to take a look on the new release of the new XOS firmware. So let's get started and right into it. As you can see, we are currently on the page of the ESP minor repository on GitHub, and we do have a new release. It's called 2.1.0. So this one changes a couple of things, especially on the web UI thing. It is a GUI refactoring, most of it, and a couple of issue fixes. But before we actually start into this, let me hop over to the overall release page, because what I did not feature last time was the version 207. It had a couple of power management fixes and a new field for Stratum passwords, as well as the version rolling now properly configured for the Stratum server. What appears to be is that a couple of miners, especially the old BitX, the BitX Max, has issues with the version 207 and 201. So these issues might be fixed very soon, hopefully. But for now, I do recommend for the people that do have a BitX Max to stick to the version 206 or 207 if this is working for you. As always, there's no need to update if your BitX is actually running and is hashing. It's always like, as I said once, if it hashes, it hashes. It's totally fine. But yeah, let's take a look on the version 201. It changed a couple of things. So actually, we do have this big refactoring of the graphical user interface. And we also have now the support for the BM1368. This is the S21 chip from Bitmain. And with this new chip, we, we have released a new BitX design. It's called BitX Supra. It's basically the, the BitX Ultra with just the ASIC chip from the S21. So let's hop over to XOS, and I don't want to feature today how you can actually update your device because I explained this multiple times. But if you still want to do so, you can always hop over to wantclue.github.io slash bitx web flasher. And on here, I do have the board version 204 and the max one. The max one is still on 206 on my web flasher, and I need to update this sometime soon. Uh, but Currently, for, for the reason being that the BitX Max does have a couple of issues with the newer versions, I will stick it to the 206 version. It appears to be that on your web UI, it will show you this dirty tag. Don't worry about it. 206 is functioning really fine and everything is all right. If you want to update your 204 version on your BitX Ultra, you just click on it and then click on connect. This one here is the Brave browser, so it does not support the ESP connection, but you could do this with Google Chrome. But let's hop over to the actual XOS and let's take a look how this looks. So first things first, quick impressions for me. I do love the refactoring of this design. XOS looks pretty clean in my opinion. And it features now a way better UI for you as a user. So first things that you do see, we now have uh, these circles down here that do show you how everything is going, like it shows you your power, your input voltage, the ASIC voltage requ uh, requested, uh, as well as the heat, the fan, and so on. So this is pretty nice. Also, the web UI is way quicker, as you see. It regularly updates, and I just booted it a couple of seconds ago, and is already hashing, it's already mining, it's, it's really nice. If you scroll down, we still do see the pool information, and if I would click on this link, I would open a new tab and it will take me to the public pool instance and show me my stats on the pool end. If we do take a look on the left hand side, we do have swarm settings and locks here. So the locks that you usually would see on the front page and you can enable or disable them are now on their separate page. Another thing that has totally been changed is the position of the restart button. It's all the way to the right top instead of the top left. If we click on Swarm, it's still the functionality of Swarm. You can add multiple devices to control all of them on one web page instead of opening multiple different IP addresses. If we click on Settings, well, you see, you see that it looks way cleaner. It has more things to introduce for you. So you do see like the Stratum password and so on. Everything in here is pretty 
as it was before. It just looks way better. So huge shout out to, fan, to Ben to actually refactor the graphical user fade. I do love the changes. And yeah, it's still possible for you to just download the ESP-Minor bin and the www.bin here, and then just upload them on those, those two buttons down here. Uh, but usually I don't use this process. It's really handy if you do have just one bit eggs. What I usually do is I use my USB fla web flasher that I wrote. It's, it's just uh, the way I, how I do it, but both options work definitely. So let's hop over to the logs and let's see how this is going. So we do see now here that uh, we have the board versioning, um, the versioning of the UI, and uh, obviously all the other stats that we used to see on the first page. And I can click on show logs and it should show me the logs of the miner and what it is doing currently. So that's pretty nice. That's lovely to see. It's on its own page and we do have all those features in here. So that's, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's go back to the dashboard again and let's just see. So I hope that you guys do enjoy this new look. So yeah, that's basically the new look of the UI. I just wanted to make a quick update so that you guys have their f my first impression on how I think this looks. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it for today's video. I want to thank everybody for you for joining in and for viewing this video and see you on the next one.